So what's going on everybody? Just want to let you guys know it is a takeover. All right. I know y'all were expecting y'all real. Y'all getting tea spilling today. Red hair. Don't care. Y'all not getting y'all real. Y'all getting me. It's a takeover. So what's going on everybody? Tea spilling here. Taking over, uh, you know, y'all rails, our uh, little trending topics and everything. I am so glad that you are on time. And for those of you who don't know, this is Tablet's Trending Topics with T. T spilling today. And we have quite a bit to talk about. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to have a good time. What is the word? Well, uh, like I said, y'all getting tea spilling today. Hello. Uh, I had to push y'all rail off to the side. He, 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 uh, he not allowed to come play today, but y'all can get him later on tonight. For the reviews, but like I said, it is a takeover. It is a takeover. All the personalities we about to sit here and we're bum rushing this channel. Every last one of us. All right. He done kept us locked away for too long, so we finna sit here and have some fun. So this is what it is. With that being said, I'm going to try to keep how he normally does it going. So I'm gonna follow his format. I'm gonna just put my little stank on it. So, I hope you guys, well, hello, hello from the south side, all right. Okay, okay, well, you know, when you call, I'll make sure y'all real talk to you, so I, I won't. Yeah, yeah, the voice still gonna be the same, you know, but y'all just wait until everything else come. Like I said, I, typically when y'all see y'all real, y'all get the happy flamboyant one, so pretty much you're getting me. Now, the other men with the other voices and everything, hey. Hey, but hope y'all got y'all drinks, got mine. If y'all smoking on some shit, hope y'all got that too, because I got mine. So <clears throat> let's do this how he normally does it, all right? So prayers. The only um, person that I have that, um, <clears throat> that came across, uh, well, I guess my timeline or whatever is Crazy Bone from uh, Bone Thugs in uh, Harmony. Okay, he um, has announced that he is suffering, I don't know how to say it, but I think it's sarcoidosis, something like that. And, <laughs> and um, it's the same disease that uh, took Bernie Mac. So, you know, everybody, if we can just uh, keep Crazy Bone lifted up in prayer and hopefully, you know, he can um, overcome this, okay? Well, uh, Yarell isn't here right now. Y'all got tea spilling uh, for, for this duration, you know. So, But y'all, like I said, y'all can get him laid on today. Y'all get him laid on. So, as you guys know, we always do, or he always does, but I would just say we do the MVP and the L's of the week. So, think about that as we are going through these topics. So, let's talk about <clears throat> the Kardashians. Or one in particular. <clears throat> if y'all think I'm finna talk about Kim, we not talking about Kim. Okay, she didn't show her. She didn't show her body and two black bars. So all we need to talk about for her. But <clears throat> talk about Chloe. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna talk about Chloe. Chloe decided that <clears throat> on her show, Cocktails with Chloe, that she uh wanted to question. Russell and Sierra's celibacy vow. Apparently, I guess they're painting it to be this is the new big thing. <clears throat> and, um, you know, who are you <clears throat> trying to prove this to or for? Now, the reality is when you have two attractive people get together, of course, the question is going to be, are y'all fucking? Okay. No, no, not quite, not not quite, you know. But again, it, what y'all don't know, this shirt just having fun, don't care who sees, we just having fun over here, just having fun over her. But, what, like, when, again, when you have two people who are fairly attractive get together, of course, everybody's gonna think, oh my gosh, they're smashing each other, right? <laughs> and, um, they pretty much said, like, no, we're trying something different. Or more or less, Sierra, I'm trying something different. It's not that she's been out here and um, trying to create, you know, this hoopla and everything. <laughs> yeah, or just... <laughs> 
Well, here's the thing, you know, there, there's enough dra- like if I can quick tangent, there's enough drama going on between all the different social medias. It's Sunday, it's tablet trending topics. We over here to have a good time. So if that means y'all get to laugh, you know, at my fiery red her, cosplay her, then that's what we're gonna do. But I don't think that they were necessarily campaigning or trying to sit here and serve any hoopla. Like I said, as of now, <clears throat> since it's springtime, I'm 15 years celibate. But you don't hear me saying it on every video. I mean, but it's something that if you are close to me, you know this. I'm not campaigning because I want everybody to be like, oh, hey, congrats. it's nothing like that. But at the same exact time, I mean, you know, while you sit here and worry about the mouths on her pussy, you need to be worried about the mouths on your pussy. But I digress. I digress. But I think Chloe might want to slow it down, you know, before some shit come her way. I, I don't think she want it. I don't think she want it. So, let's go ahead and talk about Maria Sharapova. Sharapova, however the fuck you say this woman's name. Now, she has uh, been competing against... Um, Serena Williams for quite some time and if I am not mistaken y'all correct me if I'm wrong Serena then I uh, wax that ass every last time that they uh, have come up against each other Well at the I think it was the Australian Open. Yeah, Australian Open. She went and um had uh, d- uh, Did a drug test and tested positive for a drug that was uh, Well, that is illegal so she had a press conference pretty much saying that she owns what it is that she did <clears throat> but the drug she was using was for something else and it got outlawed <laughs> and it got outlawed in january but she wasn't aware but she takes full responsibility now this is the same woman that has gone on the record by <laughs> took me up with realness well i mean you know hey something you know i'm gonna say this I don't do wigs and all this other shit. I got one wig that is like very uh, uh, Rastafarian like and everything. But I will say this, contrary to other people, even though I'm coming on here with a cosplay wig, you know, uh, my hair is still laid better than a lot of motherfucking people. And I'm talking, you know, that come on to the YT and everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, ne- like I said, Nisi, baby, I love you. I'm just saying, but you know, you know, pe- people be hating. They be hating. I'm going to leave every, I'm going to leave people press with no relief. <laughs> but this is the same female who has um said a lot of crazy shit about um Serena then try, you know pretty much just had a lot of negative things a lot of them to say you've been taking these steroids but you still were not able to be her given the fact and this is the same woman that to my understanding is the only uh female athlete <laughs> if I had a blue one like this, I would definitely rock it. I love the blue troll dolls, I do. But um, you know, just just that whole thing. All right. So when all of this happened, she lost eleven million dollars in endorsements. Nike dropped her completely, and two other companies are pretty much like they. I guess you say suspended her, where they're going to go all to the side and kind of let this thing um play itself out. Because again, in a um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> press the curl, baby. <laughs> but um, you know, it, it's one like in a very social media world that we live in now. Companies are forced to react. <laughs> Thank you, a hell of a lot faster than they normally would because they have to save face. They have to save their brand. So yeah, they like when I say cut ties, like she lost. Like here's the thing. First we had Pacquiao, and Nike dropped him alone. She had three, one company drop her, which was Nike, and two companies kind of put her, like, put pretty much put her on the bench. You lost 11 mil in a matter of 24, 11, 11 mm. Whew. I, I, could, I, I can tell y'all what I can do with 11 mil. Start off by getting, you know, some, some better cosplay wigs, but I can tell you what I can do with 11 mil. Now, <clears throat> Serena was asked about this. Now, <clears throat> I'm like Serena pretty much showed y'all mm-hmm, her spirit, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah, Nike don't play, not. Mm-mm. But Serena had a, uh, I, I exactly what we all can do with it. Serena was asked about this uh, incident, <clears throat> and she showed y'all how to keep it cute 
put the shit on mute and still leave a motherfucker's press. She said, um, and I'm, I'm gonna agree right quick. I think most people were happy she was upfront and very honest and showed a lot of courage to admit to what she had done and what she neglected to look at in terms of the list at the end of the year. <clears throat> It's just taking responsibility, which she admitted that she was willing to do and is ready to do. Just hope for the best for everyone in this situation. Now, if she really wanted to, if she really wanted to, Serena could have literally trashed that ass, been swimming, you know, in her misery. But instead of doing that, Serena, like, you know what? I'm going to keep this shit cute. You didn't had the worst shit to say about me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and congratulate you for your courage. I'm going to sit here and wish you the fucking best. And then I'm going to sit here and I'm going to still make my money because you lost some damn money. Come, come on. Come on, Serena. Serena showing y'all how to do it. People need to watch Serena and take a page out of her book. Okay. She better than me too. Here's the y'all done seen me cut the food on social media. Y'all done seen me cut the food. Okay. It's one of those where I let a lot of shit pass by the wayside, but there's certain things that I will fucking address. It is just what the fuck it is. But you know, hey, when we talking about keep leaving somebody pressed with no relief, that's what she did. Now the issue that I have is with uh Maria. When all of this came out, you didn't check the email, so you were not aware. But if you, on some real shit, if you getting 11 mil in endorsements, you mean to tell me you can't sit here and hire you a personal assistant to sit here and check your damn email? Hell, even Horsha Williams got her sister checking her damn emails. Lord, Lord. I'm, I'm, you know what? Sean Bradley said it best. What was it? Weak bitches to the left, strongholds to the right. I can't. But that's all that I have to say about Maria. I'm finna sip. I'm finna puff. Y'all have a minute to sit here and say whatever it is that y'all gonna say before we move on to the next time. Because the next person we gonna talk about, and I know y'all gonna be like, really, motherfucker? We finna talk about 50 motherfucking cent. All right, so not a whole, whole lot to talk about. Well, actually, there's a lot that I could say about 50, but I'm not. I'm not. But what we are going to talk about is, uh, you know, 50 Cent um, has been contacted by the Secret Service. And, um, and it was in uh, relation to... <laughs> not this mobile. I've uh, been contacted by the Secret Service. And real quick, if you guys are wondering why I have to keep uh, looking up like this, my actual tripod for the phone broke. So I'm having to sit here and uh, kind of ghetto do this, you know. So, you know, it is what it is. Y'all, y'all, y'all forgive me. We correcting the deficiency. But with him filing bankruptcy, and but he constantly wants to post these uh, pictures of him with money on the internet. Well. He got contacted by the Secret Service, so now 50 Cent says that he is going to quit IG, but he's going to have somebody from his camp take over his uh, Instagram account. So he will no longer be posting himself, but someone will be posting on his behalf. And all that I can say about that is about damn time. Okay, about damn time. And uh, really quickly, if I can clock my own tea right quick, I know y'all over there talking this shit. Don't sit here and hate on me because I'm giving y'all Mary J. Blige no more drama teas with this. Don't, don't, don't hate. Don't hate. I, I, I know y'all hate. I know. See how red hot my hair is? This is how red hot some of y'all is. Don't, don't hate. Don't hate now. Don't hate. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Keep people pressed. Don't, don't hate, cause, don't, don't, don't hate, cause I slay. <laughs> oh shit! It ain't shit but jokes over here. It ain't, it ain't shit but jokes. Okay, like I said, I, I, I hope we all understand. A motherfucker just over here playing this shit. Okay, I don't need nobody in their feelings and shit. So. <clears throat> Oh, it was it Family Affair? I I, I know some of the No More Drama album. Okay, but yes, Family Affair. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so 
since I brought up Sierra earlier and I probably should have made it to where this followed right after, but you know, hey, shit happens. <clears throat> and I would say this for the congratulations, but because there's drama that kind of goes with this, I'm going to congratulate her. Gracias, senor. I'm sorry, senorita. My bad. My bad, senorita. Gracias. I'm sorry. Again, like, I can't really see, so having to kind of look up and look down, I'm so sorry for that. That that was absolutely no fucking shade. None at all. Okay. Um, But Russell has proposed <clears throat> to Sierra. And she said yes. So they are officially engaged, which means that, of course, they're soon to get married. Hopefully, you know, uh, we don't have her uh, pulling the Cynthia Bailey and being the runaway, runaway bride. Hopefully, they go ahead and consummate, you know, this everything, consummate the marriage. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, just let, just let them live. Let, just let them live, you know. But, again, I honestly wish the best for them. I wish the fucking best for them. <clears throat> and I can't wait for them to go ahead, get married, so he could go ahead, you know, fuck her to the point where he pushes her head through the headboard, and we just be done with it so people can stop talking about them being celibate. You feel me? Okay. And, they, yeah, they make a very beautiful couple. And I think that her finding him as a good man, he has brought the best out of her. So I am so here for it. <laughs> um but even with this proposal that y'all know and i said i'll give you like i'm a before i get to this <laughs> oh yeah that rob but before i get to this i want to talk about a little bit of youtube and then i'm gonna bring this to the youtube we all know that you know it's really not the YouTuber that caused a lot of the fucking bullshit to ensue. It's a lot of the subscribers that will sit here, go trolling, and, you know, kind of pump people up this and third, causing other people to react. Well, something like this similar, like, kind of somewhat happened. So, when this proposal happened, I'll... I'll, I'll uh, <laughs> Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful. Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful. But, um, you know, people went over to Future's IG. They started posting diamond rings and footballs all over his fucking pictures. And it was at this point that he decided to do a picture yeah, they, they, they can, they can. But um, he showed a picture of him holding like a wad of money but covering up uh, a tattoo with a C on it, which if I'm not mistaken, it is um supposed to be like, I guess, representation of Sierra. And the caption said C, S-E-E, -E, no, E-V-O, E-V-O-L. And it's one of those where it's just like, why are you mad? You know, and what I really hope Sierra does is don't say nothing, okay? Because, again, like I said, just ignore the shit, leave his ass present, and leave him in his feelings. Because, you know, the like I said, here's the thing. Some of the worst revenge you can get is, number one, it's not even finding somebody better than the last. <clears throat> it's being happy. And when you are genuinely happy <clears throat> and you don't concern yourself, and I'm giving y'all some wisdom here, y'all don't concern yourself with what someone else does, you good. You know, when you live your life, when you have fun and you don't care who watches you, when you don't care what they say about you, when you just genuinely happy and you at peace with yourself, you good. You Gucci. Yes, don't give them any fucking life at all. You good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need for Future to go ahead and, and, and settle it on down. Settle it on down. So, oh, oh he, he very petty. He very petty. Yes, yes, you you won't have no, no time, none of my time, baby. Every now and then, when you when y'all see y'all real, because most of the time y'all see me when y'all see y'all real. Every now and then he allows tech and Arctic to take over his body, and then y'all see him go left. Y'all will meet all five of us pretty soon, okay? But again, when y'all see the happy, happy go lucky, you know, flamboyant feminist son bitch, that be me, that be me, cause I slay, and yeah. And speaking of slaying, because I slay, because I slay, okay, because I slay. Yeah, all five. Yeah, it, it, well, it's more than five of us. We're just the five main dominant ones. But there's others, and y'all y'all will come to meet some of the other ones. Again, y'all think that y'all real is wrapped tight. 
Yarrell not rap that damn tight. Yarrell is crazy as shit. He just puts on for the camera. You know, he chooses to pick which one of us he gonna let portray him, but he crazy as hell, y'all. <laughs> Oh, what did it on Friday? <laughs> but um, Beyonce. Now everybody knows I have mixed feelings about Beyonce Knowles. You know, there's times that I see it for, there's times that I don't. But I do want to talk about something that she did. So um, she was at her daughter's um uh, school, Blue Ivy. And they were having a fundraiser. So, um, you know, <clears throat> Beyonce decided that uh, she was going to, you know, get up on stage, bless the mic. <clears throat> and not only did she bless the mic, she pretty much paid homage to the late, great Whitney Houston. <clears throat> and she sung, I Will Always Love You. And it, like I said, this was a fundraiser, so somewhat of a charity event at the high school. And, <clears throat> you know, I can appreciate that. Where the only reason we knew about this is because, of course, everybody has their media people uploaded. But <clears throat> it was just her getting up there and, you know, doing, you know, her little thing. And again, you know, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to sit here and just, and just tip to a one good time. So congrats to you, Miss Beyonce Noels. And I don't know what Jay-Z last name is, is why I'm saying Knowles, okay? So it really ain't no shade, okay? She may, here's, she may not have a Whitney Houston type of voice, but, you know, sometimes you either do a rendition or a cover. And I, I'm pretty sure that was more of a rendition, so. But today is not to be shady against Beyonce Knowles, okay? I think we did enough of that in a previous video, okay? And uh, hello, Senora James. How are you doing? Okay. Hello from uh, Senora T. Spilling. How are you? <clears throat> All right. So for you guys, I want y'all to let me know who I should. Actually, I'm just about fucking done. Well, not done, done, but somewhat done. Actually, I'm going to finish what I have here, and then I'm going to go to the tablet, as I normally do. This is, We're not going to be here very, very long. Like I said, it's just, you know, us coming out because not a whole lot really, well, a lot happened, but... You know, I told y'all real, I wasn't going to talk about all the other shit. So we were just going to come over here, have some fun, you know, and uh, that was going to be it. Okay. <clears throat> so a little bit of love and hip hop ATL news. Okay. First thing is, it has been said that they have added their very first uh, transgender castmate by the name of uh, D. Smith. <clears throat> and uh, she is a Grammy Award winning writer. And even though we don't have a confirmed list of who all is going to be on <clears throat> uh, Love and Hip Hop ATL, even though we have somewhat of a leaked list, we won't know until for April. So we'll see what happens. And all that I can say is, you know, <clears throat> I can tip my hat to Mona, even though she be full of the fuck shit. The fact that she is trying to be the front runner for a lot of issues that is in the African American, African American community and trying to put it out there so we all can talk about it and somewhat understand things a little bit better, you know, I'm all for it, especially seeing as to how um, <clears throat> the real households of Atlanta dropped the ball on this, seeing as to how they, because you guys correct me, I, actually, I'm not even going to say it next, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but... <clears throat> okay, um... Was the American uh, crime season for now, did that air on um, this past Wednesday? I don't know because I don't watch it, but I know uh, my sister uh, Nika wants to know. Okay, and I think they are saying that it was. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> but again, congrats to uh, Mona for doing something. Like, Okay, I'm sorry, but, uh, The Real Households of Atlanta. Who was the, uh, the uh, transgender woman that was supposed to be shown? Was it Laverne? I'm not sure who it was. I really, really don't remember. That was so, that was a while back. And I, I really can't recall who it was supposed to be. But can y'all let me know who it was, though? <clears throat> now, y'all talking about American Crime. Y'all know I don't even watch that now. Y'all know I'm 
beobachte. <clears throat> but um <clears throat> but that's the first piece of this uh love and hip hop news. Oh no, you 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 good, you good. We just we just over here, you know, cutting the food. I said we 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 good. Shit, we Gucci. I ain't mad. <clears throat> Go ahead and tickle me. <laughs> Woo! Actually, before I finish uh, talking about this, I do want to say to all of y'all, um, <clears throat> get ready because again, all like I said, the main five of us, we are going to uh, be coming out not only with the introductory video informing you guys what Prism is, who Prism is, and how it all plays together. Uh, yeah, yes, it's a hard not life for us. Yes, yes, it is. But <clears throat> you're going to get introduced to us and because we have been pestering Yarrell so long, we're going to have our own little show on the channel that is spilling all the tea. So we're going to have our own show. So you guys will get the opportunity to come and love us. <laughs> you guys will come and get a chance to understand us, know who we are and love us. And Yarrell wants to bring theater back to YouTube. So we are going to be the vehicle to do that. But of course, this is a takeover. I didn't took this shit over, so <clears throat> yes, yes. And at the very end of the season, because this is going to be season one, it's going to be called The Prism, season one. At the very end of the season, we are going to answer the lip sync challenge that Ashinka Shay Johnson, I think that's her name, she challenged us, more or less me, to that, so you guys are going to get a chance to see it and see all of us in our glory. Oh, my, well, the moniker that is tea spilling is actually me. So every time Yarrell comes on and he says tea spilling, uh, yeah, you know, he, he throwing shade my way because there's only one tea spilling. And it's, uh, this guy right here, you know, with the Rihanna loud hair. But that's okay. That's okay. You know, I said, I'm, I'm going to let Yarrell live. I'm not the shady one of the five. Okay. Arctic is the shady one of the five. That's the motherfucker you need to watch out for. Okay. Not me. Not me. So, <clears throat> back to the love of hip hop news again. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said, because the very first video from us, uh, his personalities, it is going to be expected during the last week of March. If all goes well. Okay. <clears throat> no, wait, 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 wait. There's, there's not going to be a versus. There's not going to be a versus. Okay. We will not do that because the like, all of all us personalities involved, we are all men. But we do not sit here. We do not argue with women. Okay, but we were challenged to a video, and <clears throat> we're just going to answer the video, and we're going to give it to you the best way that we can in the glitz and the glamour, and we're gonna sit here, we go stun on y'all asses on YouTube. That is it. That is all. But. Back to Love and Hip Hop ATL. <clears throat> if you guys have been in the blogs, do y'all know that Jessica Dom and the Bambi are beefing? <laughs> so, <clears throat> apparently what happened is it was said that Scrappy bought some pink Jordans for both the Bambi and Jessica Dime. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when that happened, of course, they took this shit to IG. And Jessica Dime threw some shots at Bambi. Bambi threw some shots at her. And then it eventually got to the point that both of them took a picture of their fucking guns. Yes, sneaker beef. Yes. <clears throat> and it's one of those where it's like, okay, this is getting just a little, it's going a little bit too far. Yes, yes, they need to sit down. Yes, yes. Yes, those two. Yes, them, them two. <clears throat> and Scrappy decided to, well, what Scrappy came back and said is if I, I would only, and I'm paraphrasing, I would only buy a pair of these shoes for one person, and that was Bambi. But this also leads me to believe that seeing as to how Love & Hip Hop ATL comes back on the 4th of April, 
this is publicity. <clears throat> Plus, we were all trying to figure out. I hear you, um, but we're all trying to figure out why it's just Kadam there. And apparently what is being said is that um, Scrappy is tr was trying to get with Jessica behind Bambi's back. So maybe, just maybe, it is publicity stunt. Maybe, just maybe, we're going to see all this shit play out on Love & Hip Hop. So we will see. <clears throat> so before we get into the congrats, because I have quite a lot of people to congratulate... Let's go ahead and get back to the tablet, y'all. She has absolutely no storyline. No storyline at all. So, y'all know that I... I don't... Well, actually, I do like talking about pork and beans and hot dogs and kibbles and bits. Now, if y'all don't know who pork and beans and hot dog is, you know, that's also government cheese. But for those who may be new, can y'all in the fam let everybody know who uh, Kibbles and Bits and Pork and Beans and Hot Dogs, a.k.a. Government Cheese, a.k.a. Wick, a.k.a. EBT is? Because I don't think everybody knows. Niggas are down. should have stayed on the last season. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Chicken Wing Dinner. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so, Kishko and Bow Wow. Yep, that's who it is. They they back at it again, y'all. Back at it again. You know what? I think they are... <clears throat> I didn't talk about Drea and... um. Oh, Fish Plate calls. Come on. Come on, Fish Plate. Ooh, wait. Fish Plate knows. I'm not knows, but Keisha. Come on, Fish Plate, Keisha. Yes. Yes, Fish Plate. <clears throat> But um, <clears throat> with some of the uh, other YouTubers, you know, like um, Ashley. Well, Ashley, there's there's only a few YouTubers that I know of, and this is absolutely no shade that I know of that gives us uh, somewhat trending topics. I know um, <clears throat> Tiki Forty Four. If y'all are subscribed to her like every day or when stuff pop out, she's going to give you a video. Talking about what's going on <clears throat> in the news. Uh, Thick Chick Vlogs, she does that as well. She, I, I'm not hating on Miss Keisha. Okay, trust and believe me. I'm not uh, hating on uh, Keisha Cole. Uh, you also have Ashley Miller who has what it is. And um, Forrest Ross has top of the vlogs. But for Rox and Ashley, I know they talked a lot about Drea and <clears throat> Orlando. I really didn't. So I think that kibbles and bits and you know pork and beans and hot dogs or spam if you will are going to be or red bologna with tape with the red tape on it i think they're going to be the Drea and orlando over here okay so apparently um it is rumored allegedly um <clears throat> fish plate uh keisha done um egged somebody's car now i'm gonna read some tweets and shit and we're gonna try to piece this together the best way that we can so yes red rap yes red rap bologna here's the thing i know some of us we on here we prim we prop and shit but we not gonna act like some of us ain't had some hood shit i know people on here watching and had the powdered milk the, yes, the Vienna sausage, the spam. I know some that had the government cheese, okay? I know everybody that went and bought them boxes of, you know, oodles and noodles, which we call the fucking, um, you know, ramen noodles. We, we not finna sit here and act like we ain't got humble beginnings now. Come on, have it. You, you better have it in the fridge right now, okay? <laughs> Come on now. Sh sh exactly. Hey, we, we, we done been there. We done been, yes, a s sandwich. S for I, I don't. I can't have a red bologna because it has pork in it. You know, because you know uh, we didn't uh, pass by that. You looking for that cheese, but but how many of y'all to put a little bit of fat or oil in the pan and you done threw that bologna in the motherfucker? You you do throw, throw two pieces. I'm gonna give y'all a recipe. This, this is an impromptu in the kitchen, boy in the kitchen. Get a big ass pot, a pan. No, I'm sorry, a pan. Put some oil in it, some fat in it. Throw two pieces of bologna in there. Let it get crisp on one side, and then you know it's gonna have a little bloop. Like it's gonna do this right now. Then you flip them right. 
Then after you do that, you get you one, two pieces of cheese, right? Then you put it in the middle, right? Then you put the other one on top of it. And here's here's the kicker. If you got some bread and a little bit of butter, you go ahead and then you make you a grilled cheese with fried bologna sandwich. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't gave y'all asses a recipe right now. Real cheese and uh, fried bologna sandwich. You flip, you got yes, you got to flip it now. Mm -hmm, yes, I, I I know I know they got the kosher bologna. You know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to wait. If I do that, we're not gonna get into that. I'm just trying to give y'all a recipe because you know some people don't know what it is. I know it's damn good eating. You eat that right now. All right, all right. ain't shit wrong with that shit. Hell, and, and spam, shit, spam that cross over all the way to motherfucking Asia. You take your ass to Asia, spam is considered a delicacy. Y'all better get with it, baby. But, um, <clears throat> but back to, um, government cheese, okay? Back to good, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, Tipan. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is in Hawaii. I'm pretty sure. I know. I know. I was in South Korea with the other motherfucker, so we all was over there. So, so we know what it is. We ain't, we ain't partake in it, but but we know what it is. Ain't shit wrong with that spam, baby. Ain't, ain't shit wrong with the spam. Okay, I can't have it. Nor can y'all real have it, but y'all best to enjoy it. But again, we not finna get on, we not finna be over here on the scope and pretend like we ain't had that powder motherfucking, um, you know, um, milk. We ain't have Vienna sausages. We ain't had the red bologna tape. Don't, we ain't gonna pretend like we ain't had it. Okay. Okay. We, we, we not gonna pretend, but, but back to what's going on. We gonna sit here, we gonna dissect these tweets and we're going to figure out who said what, when they said what, how they said what. <laughs> Powder milk was a bomb. Come on now. Okay. Come up with that. Peanut butter. Here's the thing. For all of y'all who um, was on reduced lurches in uh, grammar school and high school, how many of y'all remember those graham cracker peanut butter and jelly wafers? How many of y'all remember that? With some milk on the side that you don't get in the milk, let it get a little bit tender, and then y'all meow on it. How many of y'all remember that? Okay. Yeah, I, I know y'all. How many of y'all know about those super donuts that you heat up about a good 10 to about 20 seconds, and then you eat that bone with some milk, and that was your breakfast? How many of y'all know about that? Okay. Okay, how many of y'all know about it? Again, we're not for the, we, we, we can sit here and progress past the hood. Oh, eight seconds. Okay, come on, eight seconds. But we not gonna sit here and pretend. Oh, look, look, got everybody through. You had people who, they families had enough money, but still like, hey, bro, get that shit right there and pass it to them. We know about it. We know about it, baby. Okay, look, we, we, we not gonna front, but we gonna sit here and we gonna be up front about our shit, okay? Mm, I swear, yeah, I see that. Okay, what about, you know, we, we, we gonna come back to Kibbles and Bits and Pokemon. Sada. What about them smokers? Oh, definitely greedy. De definitely greedy, baby. Ready? How many of y'all remember those rectangular pizzas that they didn't cut up and they, that they didn't gave out to everybody? How many of y'all had them all rectangular pizza slices? Anybody on here had them? Oh, you, the uncrustable sandwiches? Yes, yes, them, them two, them two. Right, exactly. You know about them rectangle pieces, baby. You you know about them rectangle pieces. That the pizza was old fucking poor herb motherfucking time. See, I feel bad for these sedated motherfuckers. I feel bad for because they don't know what struggle. They don't know what struggle. I went to see myself, Arctic, Tech, Maccabeus, Duran, who are all encompassing Yarrell. We all went to Mary McLeod Bethune. Elementary on the west side of Chicago, and uh, we get to the honest, we knows all about that life. 
So y'all let me know when we can get back to this bullshit, but we can sit here and talk about that throwback shit all we can sit here and talk about that shit all motherfucking day long. Like we ain't good in uh high school and grammar school. Ooh, don't trip. I said it. How, how you doing? I, I like that name now. The milk pouches, yes, but have y'all have have any of y'all ever had those um like fruit pouches where they somewhat froze them and you cut the top off and they like a freeze pop and then you eat on them y'all see we ain't good and if i can say this right quick for y'all who don't know y'all can thank the black panther party even though there's a lot of bullshit that happened last month thank the black panther party i have purple all the time baby and then Rum new, but we can thank the Black Panther Party for these free lunches that we have enjoyed growing up, going through grammar school and high school. We can also, uh, you know, say thank you to them because even some of us who have children, I don't. We can thank the Black Panther Party because some of us who have children, they enjoy free lunches. So we and not, it, it wasn't just free lunches, baby. Yes, they made a pot, but it wasn't just free lunch. It was free breakfast and lunch. Okay. 40 cent. Oh, that's good right there, baby. We, oh, we're not talking about... Oh, now, now, Lunchables was kind of expensive a little bit, but yes, rest in peace with Mr. Hewitt. Yes, yes, Ms. with Hewitt and Fred Hampton. Yes, 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 baby. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, but but you ate good. And here was the crazy thing: when when uh when Yarell was in high school, I was just a figment of his imagination. But when Yarell was in high school, even though his mother she was an accountant for Life Fitness, catch that. Even though she was an accountant for Life Fitness, she was a single mother. So because of the fact that she was a single mother. Yarell was allowed to get free lunches, but there were so many people who their parents made enough money to do what it is they had to do. They went to other people who was on reduced lunches, meaning they got the shit for free if you showed your meal card, and they were sitting here like, let me get this. So the shit that you paid for, people wasn't going for the shit you paid for, but those motherfucking rectangular pizzas and shit, those motherfucking graham cracker, peanut butter, and jelly sandwiches and shit. Everybody went for that shit. Y'all, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. We done went old school right quick, y'all. Y'all ain't ready. Meal to yes, the meal tickets. Especially those that had the little hat. Cause we had those where you uh it was like however many days of the month, and they would a uh, hole punch them to make sure you ain't come back for doubles. But we was in the hood. We we was in the hood right quick. Okay. Oh, they was they were slamming like a motherfucker. Yeah, it, it was delicious. It, it, you you got your life, you got food, it got you all the way together, and you went back to class, baby. Punch, punch a hole in it. Punch a hole in it. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. You oh, you ain't finna get me started with that now. You mmm mmm. We didn't, look, y'all, we didn't went from trending topics <laughs> to get old. But in us doing this, even though I and y'all real, because I may, y'all, see, here's the thing, y'all real might not let me come back next week. But if I do, we can have fun. But uh, y'all real might not let me come back next week. But this is, but even though we're talking shit about kibble, not kibbles, well, kibbles a bit, yes, but. Pork and beans and hot dogs. Let's not forget that many of us have humble beginnings. Cause how many of y'all did had then bought a can of pork and beans, then threw like two to have many hot dogs in a pot, warm both of them up, cut the hot dogs up, threw the hot dogs in the pork and beans, stir that shit up, and had your ass a meal. How many of y'all had an after school pork and beans and hot dogs meal? Cause I know. All of us on and y'all, we ain't the only one. How many of y'all have pork and beans and hot dogs meal? Y'all let us know. Come on, come on. Cut them up and throw, yes, throw them in there. Yes, it was, the, it was de delicious. Delicious. And you, when you say put a little crisp on it, the best is when you fry that hot dog, like you fried that bologna, 
Then you cut it up and throw that shit in there. It, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby. Better yet, since cause we, we talking shit right now. How many of y'all had that cheap, like 30 cent, real thinly cut meats that you get from all these and shit? How many of y'all had that? And made sandwiches out of that. How many of y'all had that? Because I'm going to give you guys a recipe. Yarell might get mad because, you know, his mom and she used to make it. But I'm going to give y'all a quick recipe right quick and shit. Help y'all out. I'm going to bless y'all out. You didn't you had it. Now, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Now, what Yarell in the current day does is he uses smoked salmon. The Yarell back in his early military days used prosciutto. But see, that's expensive ass pork. Now, what Yarell's mother used to do, she would buy that salty ass thinly cut meat, right? And it was the uh, pork flavor ones, right? She would cut that shit up. And in a um in a bowl, she would put some um we ain't talking about spice. Ooh, spice ham. Don't do that spice ham now. But she would chop that up and she would mix it that meat with some cream cheese a little bit of seasoning some green onions stir that shit together spread it on the cracker it's the best shit you've never had now what she would do for Yarell and his brother that don't eat pork she would get that, that turkey but see what you know what Yarell did in his early days is he put he took that prosciutto ooh, ooh that spaghetti Child, he ain't do see y'all running do he did spaghettios way back when, but he would do that shit too. But I'd have gave y'all a recipe. Get some of that real cheap salted ass whatever lunch meat, real thin by a good 30 cent, maybe 50 cent. Chop that up, put some cream cheese, put some green onions, and if you want to add something else, add it, stir it, spread that shit on the cracker. Y'all good. Y'all good. Oh no no! See here's the Yarell isn't Chef Boy R D. That that mm -mm, no mm, no no no. He he the, he the black version. He the black version. Oh y'all did mac and cheese with hot. That shit good too. That shit good too. See see here's the we talking about that hood eating. Cause not everybody abreast to that hood eating. You know the sugar sandwiches and shit. Okay. People not ready for that. They not ready, like, you know, they, they not ready for the good shit. Well, you had to sit here, you had to take a dollar and make a dollar last. Pe people not ready for that. A lot of people did not go through the struggle, but you understood when you went through the struggle. You still ate good during the struggle. That Yes, that sugar sandwich, yes, the sugar sandwich, yes. Okay. You do you spoil your kids, Miss Steve? Oh, okay, we'll spoil, spoil the kids now. Okay. Okay. But y'all let me know when we can go on to Kibbles and Bits and uh Poker Beats Hot. We can sit here and talk about hood eating all motherfucking day long. Better yet, what y'all I'm 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 finna give y'all another recipe. Y'all can try this on y'all off time. Go get y'all a can of chili. Cause that should be less than a dollar. Gets you a packet of chili mix. That's probably like anywhere from 30 cents to like 50 cents, right? Get you some shredded cheese. And if you stretch it out right, you can freeze the rest of this shredded cheese and use it when you need to and get you a bag of Doritos. Or if your ass is cheap, take your ass to all these and save a lot and get you that version of Doritos. And what you do is you warm up the chili. You pour some of that chili mix in the chili, stir it up. Then you put the Doritos or the fake Doritos on a plate, put the chili on top of it, sprinkle it with some cheese. You got you a motherfucking delicacy for less than five motherfucking dollars. Holla. Holla if you heard me. Sometimes less than two dollars. Holla if you heard me. Okay. You just did that last week. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, very ghetto fabulous, but but you ate good. You a very we talking about hood delectables over her. Hood delectables. Cause people ain't ready. Cause why you got people on YouTube and people in the celebrities and whatnot, they forget they humble beginnings, baby. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So I, I just wanna let y'all know. Oh, oh, you got fooled. Oh, you AIDS good. 
But that's when you was in a family that was very, you know, that knew what the fuck they was doing. Okay. Knew what the fuck they was doing. Okay. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We didn't get all the way off topic. Okay. <laughs> from, <laughs> from, <laughs> ooh, ooh, syrup salmon. Ooh. Whew. We, here's the, even if, even if we did the whole syrup thing, if you went to all this, cause you know, y'all, you know, hey, it is what it is. All this is for everybody. You get you a box of regular pancake mix and all you gotta do is add wo water to that pancake mix. You good? We are. Uh, we already talked about the sugar sandwich. And if you had some money, you had brown sugar and regular sugar sandwich with a little bit of butter, and it was delicious. Okay, it was delicious. Okay, so so y'all need not, y'all need not. For those of y'all who grew up in the hood or the ghetto, don't forget where you came from. Cause remember when you had them full bellies. Remember what you was eating on with them full fucking bellies, baby. Okay, but we over here having fun and shit. We ain't shade. We have fun over here. So y'all let me know when you're ready. And we can go back to Kimball's and Bix and uh, Porker Beans and Hot Dogs. Even though Porker Beans and Hot Dogs, when y'all real grew up, was the shit. Y'all real was full on Porker Beans and Hot Dogs and Nacho Chilies and Cheese and shit. He was he was full. He was full. Oh, you, you know what, lady nigga? Yes, you, ne you never forget. You never forget. No, you don't forget that. No, no, no. All right, Kibbles in there. Okay, so we we gonna go to Kibbles in them. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Let me hit the vape one more time. Let me hit the one more time. But before I forget, before I continue back to the schedule program, are you guys enjoying me for the the trending topics? Are you guys enjoying? Cause here's the thing, y'all hear him say he's tea spill. This is tea spilling. Are you guys enjoying tea spilling on tabloids and trending topics with tea? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Cause I just want to let you know that eventually I'm going to convince y'all real, and I'm going to take over. You enjoy? Are you on? You, you enjoying Elmo? Yes, yes. <laughs> just tickle my belly, baby. Tickle my belly. I'm like I'll, I'll give you. I'm gonna give y'all guys a little scoop because y'all gonna be the first ones to hear the tabloids and trending topics with T. I'm going to. I'm convincing y'all real to let me take this over every Sunday for the spirit and souls and uh, Miss Lady Nika. Do not think. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all as Mary J all day, baby. For Miss Lady Nika. Yarell did see that video that you said about Spirit and Soul. The Spirit and Soul is coming back, but Maccabeus is going to take that over, okay? So, his personalities are going to be, to include me, we are going to be appearing more often on the channel. So when y'all see certain wigs or whatever, you already know who's coming. But again, with tea spilling, I just hope that you got... Well, he heard you. He heard you. And it's coming. The one thing that I do want to say with the Spirit of Souls, and I cannot speak for Maccabeus, but I think I can speak for him by saying Maccabeus does not like to speak outside of terms with the big guy. You feel me? Because when, when people sit here and go the hell off... That is between Arctic and Tech, depending on how angry the shit is, is one of them to the spirit and souls. Because here's the thing, and we're going to talk right before we get back into the trending topics. There's five main personalities that Yarrell has. So you have T. Spilling, which is this guy. I am the very flamboyant. I am the happy one. I live my life. Hey, Miss Randall, we, like, I have fun. I don't care who sees. I don't care how you feel about me. I'm the personality that exists within y'all real where we gonna sit here and do us. You have people that are so pressed. Oh, yeah, oh it's like, if I put the fan over here, you're gonna see it all blowing. But um, I'm the one that just loves to have fun. Don't care what people think. Don't care what people say. We're just having fun. When people sit here and make a lot of comments on y'all real's videos, 
It happens to be me and Maccabeus that tell him, let the shit fall by the wayside, right? Then you have tech. Before I even get too deep into it, how many of y'all have ever watched a video, whether it be this or regular, where Yarrell's voice has gone from being high like mine to where his balls drop, the bass hit, and he didn't turn into another motherfucker. How many of y'all have ever seen one of those videos? Y'all let me know. Because I'm going to let you guys know who that is. Because y'all going to get the introductions later on this month. Have y'all ever seen y'all real when his, when his ball was dropping and the bass hit? Because he all about that bass and no treble. The person with the bass, the person that sit here and give you give your ass straight up, I'm from the hood, niggerish tease, is Tech. Tech is that motherfucker that is about that damn life. Okay. Okay. Tech is that. Tech is the one that if you if you want to scrap, we can scrap. That's who Tech is. So whenever y'all see y'all real and the bass drop. And he's sitting here, he clapping on motherfucking videos and shit. That be tech. That's that personality that comes out inside of him. Okay. Okay. So, that's two of the personalities. When y'all see him in that whole very sensual, very sexy, very loving mood. With that tongue get to moving left and right. With the ego pops out because he has a very big ego. That ego, here's that ego sometimes supersedes the rest of us. That's Duran. Duran is the lover, but uh, he has the biggest ego out of every last one of us. And then you have the last two personalities. You have the light side. You have the angel. That is Maccabeus. Maccabeus is. Oh, it, 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 it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of us in his head. It's, it's a lot of us, y'all. But Maccabeus is his spiritual side. Maccabeus is the one that is all about, you know, being a steward of the Lord. So if you guys ever see him on a video and y'all see him go from one person to another, we're trying to help you guys realize which one of us is coming to the forefront. Okay. Uh, well, see, Dur see, Duran, he ain't a player. He just a lover of the loves. Okay. Okay. But, um, you know, but, but that's who, the, but Maccabee is, is the light that is inside of him. I'm not crazy. Yarrell might be, but I'm not crazy. But Maccabeus is the light that exists inside of him, okay? And then you have Arctic. If you guys have ever seen Yarrell read somebody for utter fucking filth, if y'all see that the darkness consumes him or he turned into a completely different character other than the four of us that I have named, that is Arctic, okay? That is him. And what I want y'all to understand is, people fail to realize, Yarrell is a Capricorn. Yarrell is one of those where, unless he is provoked, Yarrell don't say shit to nobody. But when you sit here and you let it come out, you would have no idea which one of us is going to come out. So, who you guys are getting right now is tea spilling, the happy, the flamboyant, the androgynous one. The one who just wants to have fun and don't give a fuck who is pressed about it. Okay? So now that I have given you guys a rundown of the five big personalities and what you guys can expect in the near, dear future, let's get back to Kimball's and Bits and, um, you know, uh, government cheese. So... Kibbles and Bits said in a tweet, So one of my exes decided to drive by on some thin line between love and hate, throw a cake on the rose. Only thing is, that is not my car. Okay. He also said, But we look at the camera footage and we see exactly who it is. Yeah, go yeah, government cheese. We see exactly who it is. It's flattering. Just know 
we on your bumper. Okay. Yes, Kibbles, yes, Kibbles and Bits. He's he's Kibbles and Bits now. You blocked by Kelly, you you blocked by the whale? You blocked by she was a friend of mine? You blocked by her? Oh Lord. Lord. Mmm. Okay, you blocked by she proposed by he proposed to me, tease. Okay. I who who now that's what Kimbles and Bits said, y'all. <laughs> that, that's what, now here's the thing with the whole automobile. See, you had two females to tell her what you do. Now, um, Jasmine Sullivan said, I bust the windows at your car. And no, it didn't mend my broken heart. I probably always have these ugly scars. But right on, I don't care about that part. That, that that's what that's what um Jasmine Sullivan said. And then Carrie Underwood said, I dug my tea into the side of his pretty little sweet wheel four wheel drive. That's what they said. They 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 told you how to destroy a motherfucking shit. They ain't say shit about throwing eggs in somebody's shit now. Okay. Okay, they ain't say they ain't say shit about throwing eggs at nobody. Shit, you throwing eggs at somebody? Shit, Bible. Now this is now we cannot right now confirm that's what she did, but this is what Keisha said. Stop playing with me, a s a p. Then said, then niggas wonder why they get fucked up, and then said lots of fun. So people are saying I don't look like myself too cute. Well, I mean, here's the thing, you know, since y'all talking about eggs, y'all know that uh Yarrell is uh trying to look good for his uh dirty 30 part and shit. He trying to look good when he turns 30. Yarrell eats a lot of eggs. Now, I'ma spill some of Yarrell's tea. Don't tell him I said this, but Yarrell eats so many motherfucking eggs, like do y'all know that he has gas? Y'all real has gas, y'all. Like, when he eats these damn eggs, I be having to sit here and tell him, like, you might want to sit here and stop eating all this shit. That's not cool. That's not cute. You can't pull no bitches sitting here with eating all these motherfucking eggs and shit, but don't tell him I said that, though. But, um, but back to what I'm saying, that is what, um, Keish Cole said. Now, um, uh, Kimball's and Bits said, but we looking at the camera footage. I've been trying to tell him to get some gas sex, you know, because I be telling him, like, you know, ass is good for the body. It's <laughs> ass is very good for the body. I be telling him, like, it's good for you. But what you need is some of the antibiotics and shit, and that's going to take care of it. God be trying to tell y'all real, like, you sit here and want you a bad bitch. You can't get you a bad bitch with some bad gas. I be trying to tell him, but y'all real don't want to listen to me. He don't want to listen, so I mean, I can only sit here and give so much good advice at one fucking time now, okay? <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to help him out ever so slightly. Okay, I'm trying to help him out. Shit, it ain't even salad shooter. He like the only greens that y'all eat is broccoli, and even then, eating broccoli and hard boiled slash soft boiled eggs don't help him. Okay. Well, see, um, here's the thing. Momo like y'all. She might like y'all real, but um, I'm not him. And uh, I wish that uh, Moniz would try to come for the uh, fabulous one. She won't do it. She she won't do it. Because as red as my hair is, I will sit here and make her ass hot and heavy. And then I will sit here. Well, not even me. I will let Arctic bury her ass in a cold, sleeping slender. But I'm trying to help y'all real. I'll be trying to help him out with his love life. He just don't want to listen to me. He don't. He cared too much about, you know, his work life and shit. I'll be trying to get him to go out and have fun and shit, you know. Okay, you know. <laughs> I 
y'all, well, see, you know, y'all, here's the thing. What y'all don't know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit here and spill some of y'all rails, T. Y'all real like crazy bitches, okay? I be sitting here trying to tell them, like, you not going to sit here and get all of your personalities involved because you like crazy bitches, Okay. But because he, because if you, if you guys let Yarrell tell it, he grew up around crazy, headstrong women. That's what he like. I'm just like, no, 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 no. But into it. Now, um, Kimples and Bits came back and said, but we look at the footage and see exactly who it was. It's flattering. Just know this. We own your bumper. Now, Government Cheese, a.k.a. Spam in the Can, a.k.a. Wick, then said, Hollywood is something else. Definitely not the place for me. How you snitching old footage you don't have of me? Headed to the studio, though. Now, the funny thing is this. Kibbles and Bits never said who the fuck was on that camera footage. Um, I just want to know, powdered sugar, did you just tell on yourself? Miss Wick, I'm sitting here getting some motherfucking um, shit from the grocery store. Did you just tell on yourself? Did you tell on yourself now? Nah. You late? Well, you you can catch this on the replay. We just don't hit cutting up. You cutting up? Okay. I think if um, I really do think if EBT card, which is a little bit up front with herself and her life, things would be so much better. You know, here's the, you know, like I said, fried bologna sandwich and kibbles and bits, like, they just need to put this shit to rest, but I think they trolling us. I think they trolling us, okay? Head for the, don't, don't head for the fire escape now. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. So, when you, when y'all are ready, we can talk about the next culprit. I, I been I've been drinking, uh, James. But I mean, if you want to, when this is over, I can give y'all rail back the floor, and you can talk to him. You know. Um, I don't know what we gonna call government cheese. I mean, it's so many different names that we can call. We can even call her Shepherd's Pie. I mean, it's so many different names we can tell. We can call her. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. But Keisha Cole is another person that should just shut the fuck up and sing. And in the words of Nene Leaks, blue. So let's go ahead and talk about <clears throat> Chris Brown. Now, I happen to like Chris Brown. Chris Brown reminds uh, me a lot of Yarrell. Because Chris Brown, if you watch him closely, he has so many different personalities hanging out in his mind. And I think that some of his personalities, like shit, if he let them come out and Yarrell let me come out, me and Chris Brown can have a good motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm just saying. But uh, Chris Brown had, well, his fans had a lot to say. He's not okay. Well, if Chris Brown is schizo, then what is y'all real? If Chris Brown is schizophrenic, what is y'all real? Mentally unstable? Maybe. I'm just asking. Y'all let me know. Because y'all is getting to see one of many. Okay. Well, I, I, well, here's the thing, James. Again, like I said, you can talk to Yarrell about this when it's all said and done. I am just here to report the news. Okay, just I'm just here reporting. That's it. But uh, Chris Brown decided to slam some of his fans that came against his Black Pyramid clothing line. So, someone by the name of Chris Brown underscore zero five, who is a fan, said... 
thought these clothes were affordable. Three question marks. At Chris Brown. So uh, Chris Brown underscore zero five uh, pretty much added his ass. So at Chris Brown official. Looks like I won't be getting any. I'm sorry. Getting any of. I'm sorry. Any new BP clothing. That's what he said. Chris Brown official. Chris Brown y'all said. You dickhead ass individual. Kanye's shirt price are your monthly bills. If you can't buy it, then take your broke ass to Target. Now, Callie with four eyes dot with an eye said, what the fuck with two things going up? And Chris Brown underscore zero five had the whole emoji like what is it, seven times, and then said, at Chris Brown official, damn, that hurts. And y'all, y'all already know how breezy he is. I don't know why anybody's fucking surprised and shit. We all know how the fuck he is and shit. You know. But all I'm gonna say is this, Mary Kate and Ashley had a clothing line. That shit was in a popular store, whether it be Walmart, Kmart, Target, or whatever. And they done made a billion dollars out of that shit. But we gonna move forward. In the words of our much love from KY. Hey, boo. Now, we're going to end this portion of the trending topics before we get into the congratulations we're going to end this portion of the trending topics with um we're going to talk about yeah we're going to talk about um superhead kareen stephens i believe it's her name because she came even though some of us may not see it for Oprah, she came for Oprah. She came for Oprah, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Cops up, yes. Supreme. Supreme. She Diana Ross is of the dick suckers, y'all. Yes, su yes, superhead. Yes. Yes. She came for Miss Oprah, Okra Winfrey. Okay. Well, she she came for it though. Now Oprah did not retaliate, but some uh, people on the motherfucking Twitter came for that ass. Now, so here's what here's the original tweet that Corinne said at twenty six. I was already a New York Times best-selling author, a billionaire. Mm-hmm. Your kind of girl, okay. But a uh, best-selling author, a millionaire, and sitting next to Oprah, be inspired. You can do it too. Now, before I continue, even though I am y'all real and y'all real is me, but more or less, I'm more part of him than he is me. But that is what it is. Y'all already know how all of his personalities do. Chap lips is not sexy. Get these lips under control. And if y'all have not noticed, I came on here rocking Yarell's reading glasses, but I'll be nice and put his regular glasses on. I'll, I'll put the regulars on because y'all probably didn't catch that shade. But I'll put his right I'll put his regular glasses on for all of y'all who didn't catch it. Now, somebody by the name. Oh, you caught all right, you caught. Now, somebody by the name of Rocco's underscore world with two D's said, You sucked dick. Honestly, that ain't the route I want. Now, Superhead said, Yep. Sucked the dick just a few minutes ago. My husband is a blessed man. 
So you never suck the dick? Your mom neither. I'm like, ooh. Ooh. This shit getting good. And then... The, then old girl has said, I looked up Oprah. Oprah. I want to be a woman like Oprah, not you. Everything you do is tasteless. Now, Kareem said, at Oprah, now she added Oprah. She added Oprah and said, Oprah was, was keyword was hope, was, but was a hope. She was promiscuous after her rape, admittedly. Same story. More money. Doesn't erase the truth. Now, um, old girl said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, no example. My college doesn't teach you anywhere in the curriculum. Keep working hard. Suck some more dick. And then Corinne said, I'm not about, I'm sorry, I'm about to suck dick right now. Deep throat. No hands. I'm 37 and married. You can't shame me, little girl. Before I continue, I'm going to give y'all asses no shit. About a minute to say what y'all going to say. I'm going to give y'all a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Oh, y'all ain't, okay, well, if y'all ain't got nothing to say, I mean, I, I can come back on and talk. I'm just trying to give y'all a minute to talk, though. I'm giving y'all a minute to talk. Just a minute. Just a minute. So, since y'all ain't got nothing to say, oh, wait, hold on. Well, I mean, again, if I can quote Sean Bradley and uh, Nika, you know, again, weak bitches to the left, strong holes to the right. Cause when you now, I, I'm gonna make an adjustment to what Sean said. I'm a whore. No, 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 she, no, no, she is not a whore. Cause whores, we don't sit here and talk about who and what was done. Hoes do that. See, ho now I'm gonna have to school y'all on what a hoe and a whore is. I did it before, but some of y'all wasn't there for that periscope. A hoe you find on the corner. A hoe has no self dignity. A hoe will fuck you in the backseat of a car. A whore you must look up. A whore you must pay for it with some money. Okay. A whore you mostly find at a brothel. If you want to sit here, you want to fuck a whore, you're not fucking a whore in the backseat of a car. That's where you're not fucking a whore at. So Superhead is a hoe, not a whore. Because whores, even though they do some bad shit, whores are dignified. Okay, whores are fucking dignified. She is not a whore. So we're not going to give her a high class title. Not over here. So we're going to go ahead and end this right quick because I think we have said quite a bit. Quite a bit. So we're going to move forward and we're going to get into our congratulations. We're going to vote on who is the MVP and the L of this week. And then I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Even amidst all the bullshit that has occurred in the last 48 hours. So, let's give some congrats. With, and I'm, I won't give shade, but I will let you guys go. So, John Legend's miniseries, which I think he's a co-producer of, which is called Underground... 
have made has uh, pretty much had more than 2.5 million viewers and has set a record for WGN. Okay, so even though it's talking about slavery, congrats to John Legend. Now, um, Mariah Carey, she is from a reality show that is going to document um, her uh, residency at the um, at Las Vegas, in addition to her upcoming European tour. So, congrats to Miss Mariah Carey. Kenya Moore, even though we don't know if she's pregnant or not, but we'll find out soon, she is back to acting. So, congrats to Miss Kenya Moore. Now, Janelle Monet is um, casted along Taraji uh, P. Henson in a true story of three African Americans or three African American mathematicians who calculated the trajectory needed to put the first manned U.S. spaceship into orbit. Congrats to you, Janelle. Ex-convict Jeremy Meeks, who they call Bay, he is now out, and he is now working on his uh, modeling career. So for all those who posted pics of him being fine and all this other shit, because of y'all, he is now working on his uh, modeling career. So, congrats to that brother as well, regardless of whatever the fuck he was convicted of. Maroon 5's Adam Levine, he and his wife, they are expecting their first child. And Omarion and April, they have welcomed baby number two. But we don't now, and if I'm not mistaken, it's a girl, if I'm not mistaken, but we don't know the name. Okay. Now, now that we have talked about the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything else, I need for all of you who have watched, let us pick who deserves the L of the week. Even if I didn't talk about that person, who deserves the loser? The L of the week. Let me know. We don't have a loser of the week? Oh, Superhead. Oh, you said Superhead? Okay, Superhead. Okay. We got Superhead. Who else? I mean, again, we're all here. It's us. You know, so, okay, we got one for Superhead. I mean, who else do you guys think that had the L of the week? Ooh, Kibbles and Biz, Miss Keisha Cole. Okay, so we got one for Keisha. We got Chris Brown. I'll say we got one for Keisha, one for Chris Brown. Oh, okay. But who else? You know what, Maria? Yeah, I, I, I will somewhat agree with Maria. Okay, we got Chloe. Okay, now I need, okay, okay, now we, we scattered right now, so we need to figure out who truly takes the L for this week. Okay? You vote for, uh, for Maria? Okay, two for Maria. John, really? John Legend? Okay, so we got John Legend. You said Coke, so I'm, now when you say Coke, are you talking about Cat Williams or are you talking about Chloe? Okay, Maria for the L. Okay, we got three for Maria. Okay. But whom else? And while you guys are typing all this, if you guys feel that with all these wigs and everything, if you feel that we should shave the mustache, let us know. Um, Kip, uh, okay, so Government Cheese. Got another one. Okay, Government Cheese. Okay. Whom else? Cause I want I want you guys to answer before we don the ale of the week. So y'all, cause I don't want to say ale of the week and then we don't know. Keep the stash, okay? Keep the keep the stash, okay? Cause the stash for y'all real his everyday life. Okay, okay, okay. You stand firm on the bed, okay, okay. So I guess we can. I guess we all can agree. That um, pork and beans and hot dogs takes the L of the week. Do we all agree on that?
y'all just let yeah, just, just let me know. Trump. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So we're all gonna say Superhead takes the L of the week. So who is the MVP of this week? Now, in my opinion, I say Sierra is the MVP because hey, she got that wedding band, y'all. <laughs> Okay, got you, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Russell Williams. Yes, so, okay, yeah, you agree, okay. CC, Sierra, I got another CC, okay. Coco? Who is Coco? I ain't talking about no Coco. That, that might be CC, but I saw Coco. Who is Coco? I want to give them an opportunity before I sit here and just say yeah or nay, okay? So, from what it looks like, Superhead, oh, okay, I, I got you. Superhead has the L of the week. Sierra has the MVP of the week. I guess we all can agree on that, right? Before I sit here and uh, click off, I just want to make sure that we all agree. For the Wilsons, okay. All right, so I think we are done. Now, what I want to tell all of you guys is first and foremost, y'all know I am T spilling the official redhead and all to go over today. All right, the rest of the I know, but not a whole lot really happened that I personally wanted to talk about. Now, if, if y'all had y'all real, he would have talked about other shit, but you know, fuck y'all real right now. But, um, we talked about what is going on right now. Okay. Oh, T Spiller J Blige. I, I like that name. I like I, I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. No more drama in our lives right now. Go ahead and give y'all just a little bit of unkept realness right now. Cosplay wig and everything. So yeah, I think that's what we have right now. Again, stay tuned if you guys are not watching him. Yarell, amongst all of us, go to YouTube, spilling all the tea. You can find him. The rest of us, you guys should see us towards the end of this month. The first episode of our series should um, air, if not at the end of this month, towards the beginning of next month. We Right now, we're looking at a seven episode season one, possibly a 12 episode season one. But you guys will see when it all comes out. You guys will get to see us, and y'all will get to have a good time. And you guys, by your comments, will help us determine what me and my other four brethren, to include the other some bitches, will talk about in season two. Okay. So that is all that I, the original, the real tea spilling has for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all know we do this every Sunday on Periscope. I, the official tea spilling, will take over his trending topics from this point on. So every Sunday, unless otherwise specified, we're here. At 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yarell will be back this evening to do The Real Households of Atlanta and The Real Households of Palantic, of P Potomac. I'm sorry. So that is all that I have. We are done. Uh, Lady Nika, Yarell should be calling you very soon. James, I think y'all probably going to call you uh, probably later. This video will be uploaded to YouTube either Tuesday or Wednesday, but anybody who has missed it can catch the replay. And that is all that we have. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I am the original Tea Spilling. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I, not y'all real, I will see you guys next Sunday. And that's all that I have for now. Okay, you guys. Bye. Peace.